Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Tovia. I am Chef Tovia. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the super easy buttermilk fried chicken bowls. You'll be able to find all the ingredients for today's recipe in the description box below. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you'll be notified of my new uploads which are generally on Mondays and Thursdays by midnight Eastern Standard Time. Please don't forget to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. This is a tremendous help. Hey everybody, thank you so much for being such great supporters of my channel. And special shout out to Sheila T. I hope you like the music today. So let's begin with today's demo. So we're gonna use two large chicken breasts. And what we're gonna do is just split them in half. So we're gonna split these chicken breasts in half. Just keep your hand on top. And then what I'm going to do is take this chicken breast that I split in half and I'm just going to cut them into strips. And then after I cut them into strips, I'm just going to kind of cut the strips into desirable sized pieces. So, I'll cut them, you know, not that big. If you want to cut them smaller, you can. Find some little nugget sized pieces. Next thing I'm going to do is add my herbs and spices. I have here some kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper. And then I have here some dry minced onion, turmeric, oregano, and garlic powder. Also, I'm going to add to this some hot sauce. I'm using Crystal's hot sauce. Just got a few shakes of hot sauce on there. And then I'm gonna pour on some buttermilk. Not too much buttermilk, but just enough to the chicken can be coated with. So I'm gonna just mix all this together so everything is thoroughly combined and all the spices are evenly coating the chicken. And then we're gonna let this sit aside for about 10 to 15 minutes. Don't put it in the fridge. So you don't wanna put cold chicken into the oil. So what I've done was I added some all-purpose flour to the chicken and I'm just going to stir it. Just want enough flour to coat all that chicken. So I'm going to add a little bit more all-purpose flour. There's really no particular measurements. But for the sake of measurements, I'll say about one and a half cups. And I'm heating over here some oil. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil, grapeseed oil, whatever choice of oil you like to use. And I'm heating it on high till it gets about 330 degrees. And I'm going to adjust the temp. So um, my oil is hot and I've adjusted it. And I'm gonna be on about medium to medium high heat the entire time. We don't want the oil to burn and we don't want the chicken to cook too quickly. So I'm gonna add the chicken to the oil. Make sure you shake off all the excess flour. And we're gonna to fry the chicken to its golden brown. Just remember to keep the heat moderate. You don't want it to be too hot. You don't want your oil to begin to smoke. So don't overcrowd the pan. When you overcrowd the pan, it will drop the temperature of the oil. So the chicken should be done. Because the oil's not as loud as it was before and all that chicken's floating to the top. And the oil, you know, has become less, has less of a sizzling sound. So that's another indication the chicken is ready. So cook all the remaining chicken the same way. So to assemble these bowls is quite easy. Um, I have some mashed potatoes. You can find my mashed potato recipe in the description box. And I just use my mashed potato recipe. So some mashed potatoes. I have some corn. I have some corn and I just cooked with some butter. Just a little bit more corn. 
because I love corn. And then a few of the chicken pieces to go on top. And then I'm going to garnish it with some cheese. And I'm using Cracker Barrel cheddar cheese. Just going to grate just a little bit of cheese over. So here is our fried chicken bowls. I hope you guys can see it really good. Looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to just mix that together. I'm going to give this a taste. This is absolutely delicious. The chicken has a perfect crunch on it. It's, it's amazing, guys. Please try this recipe. Add it to your playlist. Mm. Give me a thumbs up. Hear that crunch? Wow. Amazing. There you have it. How to make fried chicken bowls. Please remember to live and be well. Let's do what we can to come together to love one another. Thanks for watching.